we just finished the handwork on our uppermost swell. Uh, you can see it goes back there. Oh, I haven't stepped it off yet, so I don't know how long it is, but I'll take you down it. Uh, got a pretty good sized dam here on the, the west end. Or excuse me, the south end. That's the south end. Get along here. Kind of windy out here on Hebron Acres, but that's okay. We'll get our tree systems planted and that'll help. So yesterday we were, I just stuck this burn barrel in here because we were working in the swale and we had some things we had to burn. And since the grass is so brown, I didn't want it to get away from me. So I burned it right here in the swale. <laughs> That's okay. So I got to build up this dam a little more. It's not very high. And I'm going to turn into the sun so the video might get goofy. So that's on contour. You can see it's kind of snaking its way across. I'll stand up on the uphill side. Try and walk without being too jerky with the camera. So we did this with a tractor and a two bottom plow. And I borrowed a neighbor's tractor because he's got four wheel drive and power steering. A little bit shorter wheelbase. So it was easier to follow the contour, and the little snaky shapes. So if you use a tractor and plow, uh, I do make a recommendation that you get something that's got four wheel drive and power steering, because that was a big difference. But uh, you can do this with any kind of tractor, uh, preferably one that can, the wheelbase width can span the ditch so it doesn't smash down your your dirt too much when you're trying to reform the berm. Uh, but in, in between these two swales, I don't know if you can see it, I cut the grass down really close. So between this swale and this swale, we are going to plant the Cerisia lespedeza in this patch right here. So I'm estimating maybe I don't know, three quarters of an acre, half an acre. I don't know, I'm not a very good judge of that, but uh, I'll ask my neighbor, see what he thinks. He's gonna bring his tractor over and his disc and, and a drag harrow and get it planted today. And that will be goat forage for his goats this year, or our goats whenever we get them here. All right, this is Dan. From